Shout out to us here at App Stupid. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Smash the like button. Like I say, it goes a long way. Helps us on the channel. We appreciate it. Had a great day here in the studio. Um, talk some Oregon football. Are you sold on Oregon? They play Oregon State. They didn't really look too hot versus Boise State. And then after that, the Big Ten season starts. And how do you feel about it? Also, how good are the Syracuse Orangemen? We really don't know. However, they could play spoiler to a team, to a couple of teams who are ACC hopefuls uh, headed into that back half of the season. Then we talk California Bears. They are a really good team nobody's talking about. The defense plays in the end. They create havoc. They always have matchup problems. Just a great team. Then we went back to the Big Ten to talk some Indiana football. Are they a sneaky good team? Indiana? I don't think so. I think they're just a C-tier team in the Big Ten. And the way the schedule is set up, down the stretch they have Michigan State, Michigan and Ohio State then they get their rival Purdue they could be exhausted and beat up by the time they run into Purdue and that's a rivalry game you don't want to go into feeling that you don't have a shot because you don't have bodies available so make sure you check all that out (laughs) Now we want to go ahead and finish up and talk some more football for the Iowa State Cyclones. And could they be the 12th team in the college playoff? That's a legitimate question because I gave you the scam. The scam is four teams from the SEC, four teams from the Big Ten. Then you're going to have an independent. Notre Dame will make the college playoff. Don't worry about it. Then you're going to get a team in from the ACC. So that may be Louisville. Like I say, maybe because you've got some unknowns in the the ACC that can make that thing difficult. That only leaves two spots up for grabs. And that's why I said Iowa State, they could be that team to make it in, nobody's talking about. We'll get into that more when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. Yes, BK, have it your way, because you rule. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Burger King. BK, have it your way, because you rule. So, when we last left off, we were talking about Iowa State being that team to sneak into the college football championship series. They could get into the playoffs. They're not going to the championship game. Oh, hells no. That's a lot of cocaine. (laughs) It's somebody's system to sit here and say, oh, wow, yeah. Oh, Iowa State's going to win it all. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the season for them, like I said, they had their defining win. They beat Iowa, an in-state rivalry. They've been playing Iowa for 75 years. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. And then Kirk Prince, Captain Kirk, as we affectionately refer to him on this program, he's played in 30 of those games. So for 30 years, they you know, he's been their main enemy. <laughs> then uh, this week they have uh, 
AR State, uh, FBS one school. They should win that game. They play Houston in Houston. Then they play Baylor. Baylor is off and on from year to year, so you just don't know. Um, Iowa State plays West Virginia. They play UCF, Texas Tech, Kansas, Cincinnati. They'll beat them. Satterfield is trash. Satterfield is trash. When he get left Louisville, I think the city threw a party. He is garbage. Hot garbage. And they play Utah, which is a really competitive game. And they have Kansas State at the end. Again, they could be a team that could make it in. And it's just by the level of opponents and when they get them. When they get Utah, Utah might not be ranked. Utah may have some key injuries and Utah might be missing. Okay. Then you get Kansas State. They could be in the same boat. Hell, all three of them could be in the same boat. However, if they are able to make it in, then this kind of puts a shake up on things because who's that other team? Or does the ACC get two teams? Now, if the ACC gets two teams and you add the independent, it's only one spot left. And this team has to sit up there with the Oklahomas. They have to sit up there with the Utahs. It's going to be a mess in conjecture because then a bigger conference like the SEC or the Big uh, the Big Ten, the SEC might say, hey, look, even though we got our four teams in, Oklahoma has a better resume than Iowa State. And then Oklahoma State can say, hey, look, we won our conference. We beat our out-of-conference opponents why are we getting snubbed and we're the only undefeated team to actually be in the college playoff conversation? These are very real scenarios. Nothing about this is made up other than the teams who may be there, who may not. I'm sitting there doing that in hyperbole, but I'm giving you a real situation that could arise when you have a set amount of teams you have power five conferences but they're not valued the same they don't have the biggest brands so are we talking about legacy are we talking about are you good right now don't give me who you used to be give me what you're doing right now that's a legitimate mark that's a legitimate mark but like i say we'll keep watching we'll keep watching been a lot of fun today i'm glad to be back but we will see you tomorrow this is big vernon app stupid have